Now, we got Believe It or Not for Nicola from Toronto Animal Services. As always, are you ready for this? Lay it on me. Mm, I can go there, but I won't. <laughs> Over 10,000... It's a family show. Yes. It is a family show for people between the ages of 16 and 35 who enjoy the humor that I bring. Over 10,000 birds a year die from smashing into windows. Do you believe that, Abby? I don't know. It's true. It's true. <laughs> Over 90% of all fish caught are caught in the Northern Hemisphere, Nicola. Over 1 million stray dogs live in the New York City metropolis area. That's a pretty sad fact, actually. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah Owls neat. are the only one of the birds who can see the color blue. Oh. At least they didn't see that, what was it, movie, The Color Pink or The Color Purple by... Uh, purple. Purple. Yeah, that was a horrible movie. Parrots have 500 pounds per square inch of pressure in, the, in, their, in their necks. I thought it was 400. But you were close. <laughs> pretty close. In their neck? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was in their beak. See, I would have said, I, I'm pretty sure they have 400 in their beak. Uh, I, w- I would go with that. My fingers can attest to that. Okay, yeah, <laughs> mine do. <laughs> now, here's a good one here. Penguins can convert salt water into fresh water. So if you watch Lost on ABC, all they need to do is get penguins on the island, and everything's fine. <laughs> wow. Well, I don't know. I don't know how they change it. They pee it out. They sell them down at Mountain Equipment, you know, for the campers. Why not? Polar bear fur is not white. It's clear. Yeah, and their skin is black. Yeah. Did yeah. you know that? I didn't know yeah, that. That's cool. See, even yeah, Abby's sitting there like, whoa, what's up? I can't believe you said that, homeboy. <laughs> that's how she talks. She really, she's putting on the, the baby thing right now. But, uh, there you go. No. <laughs> <laughs> Polar bears can eat more than 50 pounds of meat in one sitting. I've got a few people who know who can do the exact same thing. Yes. You are one of them. Yeah, uh, no, actually, I'm not. I'm not. Try not to. Mike, don't touch the mic, Mike. (laughs) And last but not least, porcupines can float in water. Did you know that? A lot of things float in water. Yes. Very good. And according to all of our Italian listeners uh, tonight, they make sure that none of their bad boyfriends ever float in the water. You know what they do? Yeah. Cement, yeah. and they go. Uh, All right. Anyway. It's, yeah, cement, no one, no one's seen Goodfellas. Have you seen Goodfellas, Abby? <laughs> yeah, sure. Rated R. The Godfather? No? <laughs> yeah, I would hope not. Yeah. Would Hannah Montana? Not? Yes. <laughs> Hannah Montana, <laughs> the Godfather edition. Yeah. Hannah. She, Hannah's going to wake up with a with a horse's head in the bed, <laughs> and, and yeah, her dad's going to walk in and be like, no! <laughs> ah, no, you do it. No. See? And that, that, that's good radio. So what's going... Oh, she's upset now. So what's going on with Toronto Animal Services this week, Nicola? Well, we haven't upset any small children, which is a plus. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, you know what? We, we've, we've got some fabulous news. Um, I want to talk about this last week, but we got on other stuff. We are part of a little rescue network. We have a staff member who... Uh, once a month brings in about 10 to 15 dogs. We have these spaces available to um, to bring in dogs um, from Quebec that... Um, Les belles provinces. They, they are French dogs. They are very beautiful. <laughs> yeah. um, but these, these are dogs that are in, in uh, small little facilities that if, if we didn't bring them to Toronto Animal Services, unfortunately they'd have to put them down. Um, mm. They're just overwhelmed in Quebec. And and I've got to say, we, we, we bring them over, we spay them, we neuter them, whatever is necessary. We do all their medical, they get vet checked and everything, and then we pop them in adoption. And I have to say, we must have had about ooh, 10 or 15 just a couple weeks ago. I think we've got two or three left. It's amazing. The people have been coming in, and these dogs are going to amazing homes. Um, and I believe we're getting some more tomorrow. Um, uh-huh. And it, it's fantastic. These are beautiful dogs. In fact, I adopted one um, just the other day. Stop. Gorgeous, gorgeous dog. Yeah, how or wow? I, I'm saying no, how wow. and wow. It's there's way too many animals that you have in your life right now. No, not at all. Well, there's there's no can never thing, right, Nicola? Yeah, a couple cats no and a dog. Thing. You live in an apartment. Hey, I, I took a wild guess there, but I mean, I guess I was right. <laughs> not at all. But it's 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 a fantastic program. So if yeah. if people are looking, come down, speak with James, speak with any of the dog staff, and if. Uh, you know, if if we don't have the perfect match for you right now, give us a couple of weeks to get these this, these new new guys all fixed up, and I, I'm sure we'll be able to find you something fabulous. That's great, awesome. So, what else is going on? What else is going on? Ask me a question. 
You guys never ask me questions. Okay, I'm going to ask you. Put me on the spot. I'm ask you a question. Can I put her on the spot? Go ahead. Okay, let me okay. ask you. Keep, keep it gonna, clean. Eh? Go ahead. I always keep it clean. Okay. Okay. Last week. Yeah. No, I'm just going <laughs> to put something out there. Um, what is the most disgusting place you've ever been into when you had to go rescue an animal? Ah. That's a good one. That's, that's, that's a good one. That's really easy. Um, in the city, there are a number of people that um, will bring in stray cats, and they do. They, they, they want to look after a couple. A couple turns into six, six turns into 20, and the numbers just grow exponentially. And a couple of years ago, I had occasion to go into an elderly uh, man's residence, and um, I brought with me a public health inspector, and, and he was he was uh, honestly sick to his stomach. Um, this poor guy was living amongst cat feces and you know sleeping on a sofa soaked with cat urine it's mm. it's really sad and in in that case we were able to remove a number of cats um uh, we 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 helped the gentleman with his family get you know get his place cleaned up and uh we were able to do some work with the cats some unfortunately were very sick or very wild but um it, it was it was terrible and and you know in those situations, we have to work collectively with a number of city agencies to, you know, to look after. We've got to look after the animals. Obviously, that's our, our priority. But, you know, we've got a, a gentleman who's obviously in need of assistance. So we, we try to to work with those other agencies so they get the help they need as well. But it was, you know, I can't really go into detail. It's not it's not good family radio, but um, let your imagination run wild. It's um, it's pretty sad. It's not that uncommon. Um, and, and a really tough case to handle. Wow, it's one of those. Yeah. And and I hope they have some sort of uh, people that you can talk to. And 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 I'm sure you know what I'm sure with all the things that um, that that the people in your line of work have to deal with, that there is someone to talk to after uh, situations like that. And, yeah, I, actually, a couple of years ago, uh, the city had some people come in who deal with compassion fatigue, and this is this is the kind of counseling you would get for frontline staff, emergency personnel in hospitals and fire rescue. And and one great researcher had the, had the the forethought to think. Wait a second, these people dealing with animals and all these terrible circumstances, they must burn out as well. And they brought us in to to, to teach us about compassion fatigue and and to learn to rely on each other. And if if you know something really gets to us, to seek help and and, and talk it out on whatever is necessary. Kind of you know debrief a little bit, decompress. But um, we do pretty well. Um, you know, all of us have various, you know, addiction habits. And I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> we sure we don't go there. We're a great bunch of people. We rely on each other. We know what's up. And a lot of us have people in our lives we can talk to. But it, it can be tough. There certainly are bad days. But um, we like to focus on the good ones. That's Nicola, good. thank you so much for joining us on the show. I, I look forward to it all every, every single week. And uh, we got to run short because we got about a minute left. And Dr. Mike has his final word coming up. It's a new segment where he gives his final word. <laughs> It's pretty much that simple. And, you know, we're going to have you come on the air one in studio one day, probably the next couple of weeks. The offer is open for you. Well, I'm on vacation next week, but uh, how about after that we, we hook up? Super. Awesome. It's a date. Take Great. care. You're buying. <laughs> <laughs> Take care of yourself, Nicola. Why am I waving my hand? You can't see me. I'll wave, too. Okay. Bye. There Bye. you go. Take care, Nicola. It's Nicola from Toronto Animal Services, and you can get in touch with Toronto Animal Services at www.torontoanimalservices.ca slash Toronto Animal Services. Ladies and gentlemen, with the music hits, it's Dr. Mike's final word on the subject tonight. I didn't think I was going to get this music to go with it. Essentially, when it comes to obesity, everybody has to really be careful about diet. That's the most important thing. Uh, call your veterinarian, tell them what diet you're on, and they can help you decide on what diet's right for your pet. Um, definitely go to the website, www.ismydogoverweight.ca, and just some news that in the last three months, a drug that was, uh, that's was that been approved in the UK for a long time is now here um, that is used for the treatment of dog obesity. So even if you can't get your pet on a better diet, there is a drug that we can use that, um, that will help your pet lose weight. Thank you. See you next week.